Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Analysis by In The Money Stocks. My name is Nick Santiago. Today is January 7, 2021. As we get started here this morning, you're going to see the S&P 500 E-minis are up 24 and a half points. So that's a good little surge. Yesterday, the market did sell off pretty sharply. Uh, you can see over here due to uh, some protesting going on in the Capitol building. But uh, markets are recovering a bit today. So we'll see how uh, this all plays out today. Now, looking at the markets today, um, we'll see what we get. Right now, when I look at the S&P 500, I don't see any real problems. The trend is up overall, so we'll see where we go. Some stocks that came in the mailbox today people want to look at is going to be Best Buy. Let's take a look at BBY. Stock is trading at 106 today, this morning. Uh, yesterday, the stock had a really, really good move. So uh, very, very good uh, level at 100. You're going to see this was a head and shoulder top. It went basically right down to target. Yesterday, you got a breakout move to the upside. Stock recaptured the 20-period moving average. This could be a mover into the 111 level. I think that's 111, 112 area. That's where this stock comes into real resistance. So again, good move for Best Buy yesterday. We'll see what it does today. Um, generally, after a big up day, you're going to get a pause day. So yesterday, Best Buy had a really, really robust move to the upside. We'll see if it can get some follow through. Sometimes you'll just get what we call a pause. Uh, and then it will resume its uh, move up. But that was a very, very good surge yesterday on volume for Best Buy. Our other stock on the, on the radar, or I should say our other commodity on the radar, is crude oil. And if you take a look here at crude oil today, um, <clears throat> trading at around 50, 50 and a half bucks, $50.57 at the moment. Uh, all in all, though, when you look at uh, crude oil, the chart, the, the strength is still to the upside. The trend is up. It may need to do a little bit of backing and filling on this daily chart just simply because it's getting a little bit overbought and extended. You also have a lot of resistance on the larger time frames, but the trend is still up for oil. But I don't think it makes uh, enormous leaps at this stage of the game. Um, we'll see how it plays out. But again, a lot of headwinds. Uh, short term overbought uh, at the moment for oil, but let it let it settle in. But the trend is still up on the daily chart. Next up, we want to take a look at Bitcoin BTC. We're gonna look at Bitcoin futures here. Uh, Bitcoin flying high this morning. Again, trading at thirty nine thousand six forty. All in all, though, um, this is what we call a parabolic move. So again, while it can continue to go a little bit higher, if you own it, trail the stop loss. Um, but I I really would have a hard time personally. Uh, getting into uh, Bitcoin at this stage of the game. So if you're looking at that daily chart, it's getting parabolic. It still can go higher. There's nothing to say that it can't. But overall, when I look at something like this, I want to be a little bit on the guarded side. So if you own it, put a trailing stop in there. Uh, if you don't own it, um, I'd probably avoid it at this stage of the game as it is very, very overbought. But like I said before, when you're in uptrends and you go parabolic, sometimes you could go higher than most people think. Uh, that is our daily uh, market video morning analysis video today. I hope everybody uh, enjoys it. We'll try to do a few more of these during the week. With that being said, everybody have a great trading day and we'll see you on the charts.